What's up everybody, 915 Mang here doing a video today. I picked up a bunch of corals. This is actually my second time ordering from Reefer's Garage. I ordered uh, before I went half and half on an order for some SPS. It was uh, 11 SPS for $100 shipped. And I only paid uh, $50 because I went half and half with someone else. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you the best place to get corals from. It's not online. It's not really at your LFS, it's from your fellow reefers, guys. Uh, if you can pick up corals from your fellow reefers, do it. Um, but around here, I have to pick up the high-end stuff that I want uh, you, and the deals, things like that. I, I go online. You know, I shop around and uh, I try to hit up any reefers that I can get corals from. But uh, for this deal right here, you can see how cheap the Zoas are. Um, you know, five ninety nine, six dollars. Locally, people are gonna want twenty, twenty bucks, thirty bucks. Um, and the total that I would have actually paid is one eighty five, but because of the thirty nine dollars, forty dollars ship to my house, that raised up the price uh pretty significantly. Now I don't know how long Reefers Garage has been around. The way that I found them was actually on a forum, Reef to Reef. I was seeing these deals that they were doing, you know, the $100 SPS ship frag pack shipped to your house. And uh, that's what got my interest in them. And I was like, you know what, they probably have junk corals. But you know what, the, from the last video that I did, um, I was pretty impressed. Um, same thing with the shipping. On this video, I should have got my shipping free. You know, but you know what, I contacted them right away. I said, hey, is there a coupon that I can use? Or whatever you know and then he was telling me that you know what click the local pickup and then you should be able to get your uh, corals for free shipped um, that didn't work I, I texted him back you know I gave him a call and they're very responsive which was excellent you know when you deal with money and things like that you don't want to be dealing with uh, any shady people and I can tell you the communication with this company was great one reason why I should have got the free shipping is because they have that ZOA pack. Uh, it's like 10 ZOAs, $100, deep water ZOA shipped to your house, free shipping, right? So if you order that and then you order on top of it, you should be able to get uh, free shipping because I asked them. Long story short, they ended up making a coupon for this uh, because of my problem. And I just paid the uh, normal amount that you saw in the beginning. And I told them, you know what, go ahead and throw in some free sticks because I ordered one SPS. I said, throw in some free sticks to make up for the shipping that I paid. And this is one of the free sticks that I got. Um, it's not even the uh, what you see, what you get um, coral that I picked up. I don't know what this is, but it's pretty sweet. Uh, you can see on the tip, it is changing uh, color. It's like a rainbowish thing. And this is actually the what you see, what you get on the left, uh, Rainbow Millie, and it's pretty sweet. But the other sticks that they threw in um, are very nice, guys. So I ended up getting these corals, guys, because it is a birthday present to myself and uh, from everybody else in my family that gave it to me. Uh, my wife was asking me, what do you want? And I told her, you know, come on, you know what I want. Um, and so she let me order some corals. And uh, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money, and I wanted to get a whole bunch of the corals for a good price. So for sure, um, check out Reefer's Garage. Also, these are what the Zoas are looking like. Um, I am a fan of Zoas. You know, I love Zoas. And uh, these are just going to grow out in my 24-gallon uh, frag tank. My collection is starting to get a lot bigger, a um, lot of different variety of different kind of candies and uh, pretty soon I'm gonna have this tank jam-packed I don't know if you guys are on Instagram but there are some people on there who have uh, some sweet sweet tanks uh, just like full of Zoas and Pallies and all kinds of stuff um, I know I was talking about getting a bigger tank but you know what uh, a bigger tank would mean more corals and uh, who knows I'm I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to just work with what I got and then just jam pack it, stock it, let this stuff grow out, and just be happy with that. 
But as you guys know, it's the struggle is real. You know, being a saltwater reefer, uh, it's no joke, guys. Uh, you know, you either it's corals or you want a bigger skimmer. You want a bigger tank. You want to change your lights. You want to change your flow. You know, you want more coral. You want a, you know, bigger tank. Uh, Jay Bliss, you know, that man has a big-ass tank called the Spartan. Then he has this huge... Um, frag tank right next to it and then he's talking about sticking in another big tank in uh, his house you know uh, so the struggle is real guys um if you and if you guys are with me on that just let me know um, i'd love to see your uh videos of your tanks and things like that because uh you know it's real man once you get bit then you get infected. It seems like that's all you can do is like eat, sleep, reef. Uh, Marine Depot used to sell that shirt. Once you ordered, you know, so much money of products, they send you a, a free shirt. So, I, you know, and in fact, I still got to get my free shirt from uh, submitting my picture of bubble algae. I just haven't um, bought anything like equipment or anything like that lately. I've just been on the uh, coral coral tip. Another thing that I'm going to start doing with this tank is I took out the big rock that I had in here that looked like a skull. Uh, the reason why is I wanted more flow and that big rock was kind of taking up space for frags and blocking flow. But what I'm going to do is start carbon dosing this tank and I'm going to start doing a 20cc of white distilled uh, vinegar. Um, the reason why is because it's going to help clean up any kind of uh, algae or anything like that and I hate bio pellets. Now the last time that I did a video I also showed you this uh, little light that I bought off of uh, the internet $14, $15, something like that and it has the red, blue uh, LEDs on there and uh, I used it for this uh, macro algae, Chato and um, it has been growing pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a link right there um, and then you can click it and then see how small of a uh, little bit of chato that I did have and how much it has actually grown as you can see. I was actually thinking about pulling out the blue green chromis and pinning it inside the 120 tank giving it more room to swim. Um, I have it in my little 24 gallon tank and I kind of just want to just keep it two clowns and the Midas Pliny. But I was also thinking about pulling out the Midas Blenny, but the only problem is I have my Starry Eye Blenny in the 120, so I don't want them to be uh, fighting and beefing and things like that. Also, how many of you guys have been getting new corals? How much money do you guys spend on coral? Uh, do you guys trade a lot with other reefers? Do you um, get a bunch of deals at these um, frag swaps? How many of you guys are going to Macna? Things like that. I'd love to know here. Uh, see in the comments below.